Привет, товарищи. Welcome to our random backyard. I'm here with the crazy Russian hacker, and we're going to be doing some basic shotgun uh, tutorial. Kind of showing you what shotguns are about, uh, how to operate one, and uh, how to be safe. Safety is number one priority, always. We will be wearing ballistic glasses that's going to shield us from uh, little particles and stuff uh, when we're going to be shooting some of that stuff close range. We have pumpkins and a lot of stuffed animals that are been conspiring against us and we're going to take them out. Let's do it! Okay, quick tutorial on how to use a pump action shotgun. The first thing that you should do is locate the safety on the shotgun. On this shotgun it's located on top. If I flip it forward it's in the fire position. You'll see the red dot indicating fire. If I flip it down it's in safety. Now safeties on shotguns are placed in different locations but usually within reach of your index finger or your thumb. Very close by, actually. The second thing that you should uh, learn about shotguns is to check to see if they're loaded or not loaded. And to do so, there's a pump action release button or lever on most shotguns also within reach of your index or your thumb on your shooting hand. And to do that, here it's right here. I'm going to release it. And I can visually see if the chamber is loaded or unloaded. Now, if you can master those two, you can be a proficient handler of a shotgun. The next thing that you should learn is how to reload a shotgun. And I'm just going to show you two simple ways. There's many more, trust me. But the first one is to just load it, holding the weapon upwards and just, you're just putting shells in like this. The other way is you flip the shotgun over upside down that way you can visually see if the rounds are clicking in and being held within the magazine just like that and of course what you do next is you would rack the gun and take it off of safety and fire it that's basically how simple a pump action shotgun is hey guys my friend safety con thinks safety is a joke It's not! Put the cookie down right now! Yeah, he didn't want to put the cookie down. Do you know how in the movies you can take a shotgun and do that? Let's see if it's, uh, it's actually practical or not. So pretty much that method, uh, yeah, you can do it, but it's not really practical. Uh, unless, uh, of course, you know, one of your arms are messed up and you can only use the one arm 100%. Then in that case, yeah, you can do that and it's practical. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to shoot three rounds from each sort through my shotgun at a piece of plywood. The first thing we have is this trap load. This is some of the cheap stuff. Um, not much power. It's made for shooting clays and uh, small birds and such. The next thing that we're going to be shooting is 4 buck. 4 buck has 21 pellets. The next thing that we're going to be shooting are these 1 ounce slugs. This is basically like a 50 caliber round, slightly bigger. Next, we're going to be shooting the double out buckshot. This has 9 pellets. This is an all time favorite and used by law enforcement and militaries everywhere. The last type of round that we're going to be shooting today are these 3.5 inch rounds. They have 54 pellets. Now, a quick comparison sake, this is the smallest, lightest stuff compared to the heaviest stuff that we're going to be shooting today. Look what a big difference that is. Again, these are two and, two and three quarters, all the way up to here, and th this jumps exactly to three and a half inches. Three rounds of trap. Next we have three rounds of four buck. Next we have three shots of slugs. Now we're going to shoot three rounds of double out buckshot. Next I'm going to shoot three rounds of the three and a half inch magnum. Now these rounds have 54 pellets in each. 
Uh, so this is some heavy duty stuff. Let's see what I can do. So there we have it, we have the trap, the four buck, the one ounce slug, double up buck. Now these four types of rounds are all two and three quarter inches. Uh, very, very super standard, all four of them. Now this is a specialty round, this is a three and a half inch magnum. Uh, most typically you're gonna be shooting one of the four out of here. My overall preference, double up buck. Uh, there's a reason why militaries and law enforcement choose it. Uh, it's a very excellent survival tool. Has the best uh, spread and overall takedown. Uh, let, let's uh, let's go kill some pumpkins and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Safety is off. Back shot. Awesome. It's one more bullet over here of a back shot and it's cut in half. Just three of them. Safety is off. Four buck. Awesome. I got some tail. Look at that pumpkin. <laughs> oh my god, look at this thing. Four buck, man. <laughs> Yep, damage done. <laughs> Let's see the rest of it. As you can see, completely in half. Okay, I have one pumpkin left. I have one one ounce slug, followed by two buckshot rounds, and then two trap shot rounds right after that. Let's see. One clean hole. That pumpkin won't be messing with us anymore. I hope you guys liked this video and perhaps maybe learned something. Um, and if so, go ahead and comment down below and tell me what you think. If you guys haven't seen the Crazy Russian Hackers channel, go ahead and check it out. It's actually pretty cool. Um, and if you haven't subscribed to me or him, go ahead and do so as well. And until next time, guys, take care. I agree with the Crazy Russian Hacker that safety is not a joke. Early Christmas.